The fate of North Carolina's voter ID will lie in the hands of the Supreme Court. Governor Pat McCrory asking the justices to reinstate the law, which the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals struck down last week. He made the announcement yesterday during Donald Trump's rally in Wilmington. WNCT's Katie Harden joins us in the studio now. And Katie, this is the latest in an ongoing battle on whether or not the law is legal. Well, Angela and Ken, we're only three months away from the general election. Pat McCrory hopes to have this law reinstated, but to do so by November. Last month, the appeals court overturned the law. The judges ruled the law discriminates against minority voters. Governor McCrory says 30 other states have similar legislation, so others, ours is just as constitutional and attempted to reverse the decision last week with the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals, which was unsuccessful. Those challenging the law say it violates basic human rights. It's very clear what the legislature was aiming to do here, which is to make it harder for North Carolinians and in particular uh, African Americans in the state to vote. The law also barred same-day registration and shortened the number of early voting days. Meanwhile, the state court has set its voter ID trial aside until the federal court makes a decision. And although McCrory said that he would take it to the Supreme Court today, no official announcement from his camp verifying that he did so. Katie Harden, 9 on your side.